Hey, uh, I got a couple of questions uh, on the website about the process I use for deburring and prepping the skins on a Vans RV. Now this is just the way that I do it. This is not a instructional video or a how-to, but like I said, I just wanted to share a little bit of insight into how I prep the prep the holes for, for dimpling. So here in front of me, you can see one of the bottom, this is the bottom skin of the tail cone. Uh, and this is the bottom of the bottom skin. So this has already been match drilled and uh, you know, Clico together, match drilled and obviously taken apart. So now I'm in the process of prepping all the skins. So the first step that I do, I get a, I got an old soldering iron here, this is a Radio Shack model. Uh, doesn't really matter the voltage of it, but what I do is I like to remove strips of the blue protective plastic film. It helps to keep the skins a little bit nicer here. So I just take an old uh, metal, this is a four foot, uh, four foot ruler here, uh, and lay it across the lines. And uh, this soldering iron, just use it to, um, to actually draw a line. Just kind of do it slowly here. Sides. The nice part about this too, on the, the interior of the skins, the uh, plastic that remains serves as a nice primer mask if you're gonna prime the skins at all. You know, um, I, do, I do prime, uh, but you know, with them being all clad, there's not necessarily a reason that you have to prime. It's just an extra peace of mind here. So, uh, so now that you got that done, you, I can show you what happens here. You just peel this up and oddly enough, you got a nice strip there that uh, is left over. And then to further prep the holes, so now you gotta do this on each side. This is a swivel deburr tool. Uh, it's just got a little cutter in here. Now, uh, when you deburr holes, you need to be somewhat careful. You don't want to actually push too hard and chamfer the hole. It's a real delicate balance sort of thing. So it's a light pressure. You got to be sure to get the burr off, uh, but not too far. And like I said, once you do about you know, 18, 20,000 of them on an RV kit, you get pretty used to uh, the, the pressure that you need to do. So uh, I like to just stick it in the hole here. I counterbalance it in between both fingers and just give it two quick spins. And then that is it. And you can see there, you should be able to see in the shot there, there's a little bit of a metal burr that's being left behind uh, from the cutter, but not too deep as to chamfer the hole. And that's it. So you can run your hand across, you don't feel any burrs, everything feels good. Again, you got to do that on both sides as preparation for dimpling, and then uh, then you move on, decide if you're going to prime, and put it all back together and do your final riveting.